Hello, my name is John and this is going to be my movie review for Takashi Kitano's Hanabi. Hanabi is a 1997 release movie and it was directed by B. Takashi, also known as Takashi Kitano. Hanabi is the story of a detective named Nishi. We begin the story with him working a sting operation. The sting that he works he, it ends up going south and he manages to get every guy in his unit killed in the process. All except his friend who he lives the ordeal but he suffers paralysis because he gets shot in the back. So at this point Nishi accepts that he fucked up big time and he retires from the police force. From here he leaves his friend behind and moves on to attend to his sick wife. Nishi's wife that is. Nishi's wife suffers from leukemia. Throughout the movie we can see Nishi's personality and we get the idea that he is a bad guy. He's always quiet and that makes him scarier because nobody can tell what he's going to do. As I mentioned before, he has a sick wife and the cost of taking care of her goes far beyond his means, so he starts borrowing money from Yakuza. With no job and no hope of making his wife feel any better, he decides to rob a bank. He uses what he knows as a cop and goes forward with a bank robbery. Once he collects his money, he pays the Yakuza's off and all of this adds more problems onto problems. The Yakuza put it together that Nishi probably robbed the bank and if that's so then they want more money. The cops also figure out that Nishi probably robbed the bank too. Nishi just doesn't give a fuck. He loves his wife and he knows that she doesn't have much time to live. Just in case you guys were foggy about what leukemia is, it's a form of cancer that's created in the bone marrow and what it does it creates abnormal white blood cell. The abnormality comes from endless production of blood cells so she's growing more blood cells than what she needs and it's not stopping. So the crowding of, of the cells causes anemia and the person starts to get extremely fatigued. It's cancer so you know her ass is dead. Sorry back to the movie. So Nishi robs a bank and he uses the money to take his wife out for a holiday. Along the way, we get transitions between Nishi, his friend in a wheelchair, and the Yakuza. Similar to other Takashi Kitano movies, his movies have a level of stoicism that mm, it might turn off most movie viewers. And in my opinion, it's, it's a pretty good movie. But for a Japanese gangster movie, it does play out a lot like a long-winded art house movie. It's one of those movies that you need to watch by yourself because if you have company then you just might be tempted to stop watching the movie altogether. <laughs> Besides the slow moving pace of the movie, my other criticism would be the paintings. B. Takashi is a painter and he shows his paintings throughout the whole movie. It's a movie and not an art gallery. Sequences like this can hamper your movie, but that's what happens when you write, edit, direct, and also star in your own movie. People lose sight of what they're doing and shamelessly plug in their elements. Hanabi is one of B. Takashi's critically acclaimed movies, but this is coming from a side of critics from the 90s. I feel that it is a good movie, but it's not great. I do enjoy his style of directing. He has more entertaining movies out there other than Hanabi and Hanabi was made as an art house movie to please pretentious 90s critics. I did like the ending, I won't spoil it, it has uh, plenty of ambiguity and in the end we get to see B. Takashi's real life daughter, which I don't know, I guess some people will appreciate that. I usually like it so. Thank you for watching my review and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and updates.